In power system, as we already said, that there are a lot of ways from where which we can generate electricity. So one we have seen that is called the hydroelectric plants, and there are uh, uh, thermoelectric plants, nuclear plants, diesel electric plants, and so on. So in case of thermal electric plants, we'll see uh, the construction of a thermal electric plant first of all, rather than uh, the selection of the site, because selection of site is uh, an important point, and uh, uh, we should discuss the selection of the site in case of thermal power plants as we discuss in the hydroelectric plants. <coughs> In case of the thermoelectric plants, the selection of site is also important as uh, in the case of uh, our large discussed hydroelectric plants. So first thing which comes since the thermoelectric plant is on the ground, which actually covers the lot of area of the ground. So the important thing in case of the thermoelectric plants or thermal power plants are the cost of the land. So the cost of land is very much important. How much the cost is that will be actually affecting the uh, generation, and that we'll be discussing in, uh, in later part of the thermoelectric plants. Another thing is that there are ample amount of water is should be available because thermoelectric plant. Uh, since we know that they consume uh, water, the water is boiled in a boiler that it goes to the uh, turbine where the steam is expanded and the, st uh, the turbine is moved and the electricity is generated. So for that we require water also, so ample amount of water is very much important near the thermal power plant site. <coughs> Third thing which is very important in selection of the site of thermal power plant is the transportation of the fuel. <coughs> transportation of the fuel is the most important point and the, the selection of the site of the thermal power plants because of the reason that the cost of the land will be the uh, one time investment if the water is available over there and then there is no issues but the running cost of the whole power plant and the efficiency of the power plant solely depends upon the transportation of the fuel as well as the fuel quality so this thing which is called the fuel is most important thing because here the fuel is coal and if the coal uh, is transported from a very large extent then, then there will be a uh, large uh, transportation cost in the fuel and that will be actually delivered to the customers and that will be affecting the generation uh, power capacity, uh, generation cost of actually. So the cost of the uh, generation will increase and at that time that will be levied on the customers so that electricity will be uh, of the higher cost in case of when the transportation of the fuel is from a very far distance. So another thing the accessibility to the site of the transportation is very much important and how the fuel is actually imported towards the thermal power plant is also plays a very major role in the efficiency of the plant uh, because there are different ways of transporting the fuel to the thermal power station. One could be the uh, by rail, but another could be the by buses or by the road, or by uh, third could be the by river in which the on, on the banks of which the thermal power plant is situated. So it actually depends on the transportation of the fuel very much such that the cost of the fuel, cost of the generation of the electricity 
actually depends on the transportation of the fuel. So coming to the <coughs> the way the thermal power power plant looks. First of all, as we have said that uh, there is a storage of the coal and the uh, thermal power plants are normally run by coal. So we have to bring the coal from the uh, some center and that is called and we have to store it somewhere. So that is called a coal storage plant. We have a coal storage plant. <coughs> From there, it is actually transferred to the <coughs> coal handling plant. What is the difference between the coal storage and the coal handling actually? Now, coal storage is a place where we are actually keeping our coal uh, after uh, from after uh, the transportation, and it is in it may be a large space where we are keeping the coal just for the storage. But the coal handling plant is actually uh, the may be possible that the coal is which we are uh, we have got is not of the uh, size which we are looking for and, uh, to burn in the. Uh, boiler. So at that time we need to have the small pieces of the coal. At that time also we need to have the weight of the coal. So a weight of the coal and the pulverization of the coal, all things come under the coal handling plant. And there it is handled the way it is required in which the thermal power plant will be consuming it. So coal handling plant is very important in case of thermal power plants. So after that, after the coal handling plant, it is fed to the boiler. <coughs> the boiler, it is uh, fired under the boiler and the boiler is having water. And the water is coming out of in the form of steam and that steam is actually rotating the turbine and up, thereby rotating the generator and thereby producing the electricity which is actually getting fit to the grid. So we have a turbine here and this turbine is actually coupled to our generator and this generator is actually giving the three phase power and which is fed to the your grid so which is actually fed to the grid so this is the way uh, my thermal power plant will look alike but there are a lot of different things which will be coming under this picture because after burning from uh, under the boiler there will be an ash, so we will be having a ash handling plant also. And after that, a ash storage plant will also be there. Uh, this thing is also important. Uh, and the thermal power plant's efficiency is concerned because uh, once we have burned the coal, we cannot dispose it anywhere uh, because these are not in kilos, actually, these are in tons and millions of tons. So, millions of tons of the ashes cannot be placed anywhere. So, we require a place where we will be, we'll be handling the uh, ash, and after that, the transportation of the ash to some other places to have the different purpose, to have the different application of the ash since so will be given by the ash storage plant afterwards. So ash storage is also important in case of thermal power plants. Here another thing will come since 
boilers, we are directly feeding it to the turbine. So we can have a small thing in between the boiler and the turbine is called a superheater. Here we can place a thing which is called as a superheater. And then from the superheater, I can have a economizer and which will be fitting again back to the my water to the back to my <coughs> boiler and after that I can have different thing uh, my few gases will be there and few gases chimney will be there a chimney will be connected here and the, chim the gas which will be flowing out of the uh, boiler it again can be fed to the boilers since there can be a closed up fan over here before the chimney which will be actually taking the heat from the uh, chimney so that the heat which is actually uh, flowing away in the environment uh, it can be used again to boil the water and uh, it is said that every 10 degree of the uh, increase in the temperature of the water will increase the efficiency of the plant by 1% and as we know that the plant efficiency is very much uh, low that is not more than 28 to 29% so uh, everything is going into the losses only the efficiency of the, machine. the total power plant uh, after doing all these things uh, will be 29-30% uh, only so the only uh, thing which is very much important uh, in always in thermal power plant is the how to increase the efficiency of the total plant. So the efficiency of the plant is increased by super heater also which is actually uh, taking the last stages of moisture uh, which is actually going into the steam and so that uh, it will heat the uh, uh, your water or heat the steam actually such that in the last stages of water are taken from it and it is superheated. So that is going to the turbine and the turbine after turbine it is going to the generator and the steam is not going to the generator steam part is this much only after the turbine it is coming back to uh, your <coughs> condenser and this condenser will be again having will be going back to the my boiler and this condenser is actually taking water or the water is coming inside this is from the flowing river which is the river which is flowing nearby in the plant and there may be water circulating pump over here here also so that the water may circulate from here and there uh, which is a normal boiler the feed water pumps and I can have some uh, some more arrangement over here that the condenser will become condenser and the condenser since the temperature is here uh, we are actually uh, condensing the uh, steam over here and so we require some cooling tower also we can have cooling tower also so rather than directly into this we can have cooling tower condenser over here and like this so water is coming and whatever is water is uh, going into the condenser is again now fed to the boiler and boiler is again taking heat and steam is generated, superheated, economizer is also used for that. So heated air is coming out of this economizer. <clears throat> so this way the efficiency of the total thermal power station is increased. So we are using different methods, we are using reheaters also, superheaters also, economizer also. There is a slight difference between all those that which we already know, which everybody almost know that the superheater places the heat, the heater heats the water again. Economizer also economizes the, it also takes the heat so that uh, the water which is actually flowing here will be passing through the economizer first of all so that the uh, whatever extracted heat is taken out and that will be actually heating the 
uh, raw water and or when the raw water enters the boiler it also, uh, already have some heat uh, which will uh, ultimately increase the efficiency of the total thermal power station. So uh, basic part of the thermal power station is this much will be that the boiler will be there, the turbine will be there, generator and the condenser. This will be the basic part of the uh, thermal power plants. But apart from that, as we have discussed, these economizers, super heater, dark fans, the, the cooling towers and feed water pumps and the uh, reheater, all these things actually increase the total overall efficiency of the thermal power station. <coughs> Another thing which comes, which we have been discussing about uh, in the selection of the site also that the transportation of the fuel which will be